The film opens with a young man named Eamon skating through the streets of Kondak. At present, the renowned foreign invader known as the Inter Gang currently controls the city of Kondak, a centuries-long hub of power and knowledge. Eamon appears at a checkpoint between gangs and approaches a soldier who is inspecting a van, interrupting him. Inside the four co-workers, Samir, Ishmael, Karim, along with a hidden detainee, Adriana, the mother of Eamon and Karim, are in the vehicle they are in. Eamon starts a commotion to aid them in passing the checkpoint. He tells the soldier how he feels and denounces the inter gang for their long history of persecution. The van successfully navigates the checkpoint and leaves as a result of Eamon's diversion. When Eamon finally catches up to the van, he asks his mother if he can go with them. Their task is too risky, therefore she disapproves. They split off as the vehicle moves to the desert mountains to continue their search for the Sabak crown. Samir says that Adriana is looking at her necklace as they go and that it is quite valuable on the underground market. Real Eternium, a rare mineral with magical characteristics that can only be discovered in Kondak, is used to make the necklace. Adriana, though, brushes him aside and says, this is a family heirloom. Adriana says that the crown they are hunting for is extremely potent because it is composed of pure Eternium because she is an archaeologist. She exclaims that the crown must be moved before the inter gang takes advantage of its great power. Samir, Ishmael and Adriana search the mountain while Karim keeps watch of any approaching inter gang soldiers. It has not taken long for the soldiers to detect them and they kill Samir and capture Karim. Meanwhile, Adriana and Ishmael move further into the mountain. The two successfully find the crown of Sabak along with the tomb of Tef Adam, who is believed to be the champion and hero of Kondak. As soon as Adriana obtains the crown, the inter gang arrives while holding Karim hostage. They attempt to steal the crown from her, aggressively shooting at her location. She immediately runs away but stops short upon seeing her brother Kareem about to be shot. Finding herself cornered, she shows herself in front of them pretending to surrender. She unexpectedly lands on top of Teth Adam's tomb where she summons him with an incantation powered by her Eternium necklace. In an instant, an electric shock wave erupts as Adam awakens from his tomb. The inter gang troops open fire at him but to no avail. Pissed off, Adam fights back them. On the other side while Adriana calls Ishmael huge chunks of rock fall over him. Thinking that he has died, Adriana and Karim escape by themselves with the crown of Sabak. Meanwhile, Adam mercilessly zaps and kills the inter gang troops in the mountain. He blasts a hole on the wall before hovering out of the mountain. Then he wipes out all of the inter gang's backup forces through his overwhelming powers. His incredible speed allows him to manipulate the incoming attacks of the opponents. Just then, Adriana and Karim stumble across Adam while escaping in their van. As Adam slowly approaches them, the siblings freeze in terror. Behind him, a soldier prepares to shoot a rocket fueled by Eternium, but Adam catches the rocket and stares at it before it explodes. The power from the Eternium wounds him and he eventually loses consciousness. Adriana and Karim bring Adam along with them in the van and drive home to the city. Back in the mountain, Ishmael is not dead and turns out to be the leader of Inter Gang in Kondok. He communicates with another inter gang troop called the Raptors to continue his pursuit of the crown. The events in Kondok grab the attention of US government official, Amanda Waller. She contacts the leader of the Justice Society Carter Hall, better known as Hawkman to gather other members and assign them to apprehend Adam. The two proceed to discuss the members who will be deployed to Kondok. Maxine Henkel, also known as Cyclone possesses wind manipulation powers, computer skills and an incredible IQ Adam Smasher, whose real name is Al Rothstein has inherited his uncle's powers of growth and super strength. And Kent Nelson also known as Dr. Fate holds the expertise in archaeology, magic, telekinesis and medicine. The four members of the Justice Society board Hackman's cruiser ship as they prepare for their departure to Kondok. Hawkman relays to them the mission to stop Adam from further destroying Kondok. Around the same time, Adam regains consciousness and finds himself inside Eamon's room. He quickly heals himself from the minor injury caused by the rocket, while Eamon watches him in fascination. Adam looks around Eamon's room, confused at his surroundings. Eamon approaches him and catches him up on the entire situation. Adam learns about the circulating legend about him throughout the city. He is known by the people as a Bronze Age Kondaki demigod who is chosen as the champion of the wizards. It is believed that he revolted against the tyrannous ruler of Kondok, named King Octan and successfully ended his reign during 2600 BC. Many things have changed in this city and he has been inside his tomb for 5000 years. Eamon then convinces him to be their superhero again and asks for his help in liberating Kondok. However, Adam refuses telling Eamon that he is not a hero. He breaks through the wall, 
startling Adriana and in the midst of their research on the crown of Kondok. Adam recognizes Adriana's voice that has woken him. After hearing the pleas of Eamon and Adriana, Adam is kind of touched and wants to vanquish the inter gang. Nonetheless, he remains reluctant, so he exits the house and hovers around the building. Eamon persistently follows him as Adam makes his way to the statue in the middle of the city. While Adam is talking to the statue, Eamon notices the inter gang troops around. He seeks to let everyone know about Adam's return. So he causes havoc against the inter gang soldiers. He steals a radio from a soldier and proudly informs them about Adam as he is being chased. When he is caught by the inter gang soldiers, Adam comes to his rescue. He slaughters one soldier after the other either tossing or zapping them using his powers. The Justice Society witnesses this from their ship and they arrive in time to stop Adam from causing further damage and death in the city. They split into two with Hawkman and Dr. Fate taking off to save the inter gang soldiers. It is their first time to meet Adam face to face. Hawkman takes the lead, introducing themselves as the Justice Society whose mission is to restore peace and conduct. Dr. Fate continues saying that Adam must surrender to them or he dies. Adam outrightly refuses initiating another battle as he uses his electrical powers to zap them. In defense, Dr. Fate distracts him while Hawkman lands a strong punch against him. This agitates Adam and the battle between them goes on. After a while, Dr. Fate calls Cyclone and Adam Smasher. Cyclone emerges through wind manipulation causing a tornado in the area while Adam Smasher grows himself to trap Adam in his hand. They each take turns in an attempt to capture Adam but fails. Eamon, Adriana and the citizens witness Adam's victory resulting in a loud cheer for him. Despite that, Adam stares blankly at them and he flies away. Hearing about the Justice Society's intent on making Adam surrender, Adriana ridicules them. Hawkman replies to her that Adam is not a hero but a destructive madman, capable of destroying Kondok. The Justice Society manages to convince her to help in peacefully negotiating with Adam. They head towards the location of the ancient palace where they meet with Adam to negotiate his peaceful surrender. As Hawkman and Adam get heated during their discussion, Adriana interferes. She tells them that fighting will not be able to solve their differences, but the two disagree. Just before the fight ensues, Adriana receives a call from Eamon. Eamon informs her about Ishmael's sudden visit to their house to steal the crown. In their home, Kareem suffers an injury from being shot by Ishmael while Eamon hides from the inter gang troops. Adriana again begs Adam to help Kareem and Eamon convincing him that he is still capable of saving lives amidst not being a champion. In an instant, Adam flies on his way to their building. Back inside, Eamon quietly leaves his hiding place toward the exit, but Ishmael spots him. He orders the inter gang soldiers to catch him, but Eamon persists. Later, a soldier on a motorbike comes to abduct Eamon. Adam appears right above the building and attacks the soldier saving Eamon in the process. Ishmael sneaks from behind Eamon and takes him while Adam is distracted. Noticing Eamon's absence, Adam catches on and chases the raptors as they hover in circles. Not long after Hawkman follows to assist Adam in rescuing Eamon. While in battle against the inter gang, the two continue with their heated argument. Hawkman warns Adam not to kill any more inter gang soldiers but Adam refuses and further denies his help. The soldiers maneuver in various directions where soon after Adam apprehends each and every one of them. He checks on each bike for Eamon but fails to find him. Meanwhile, Ishmael successfully gets rid of Adam, taking Eamon with him to inter gang's hideout. The Justice Society regroups inside their ship along with Kareem whose injury is being treated. At the same time, Adriana comes back to their home, feeling dejected for Ishmael's betrayal. As well as her son and brother's concerning conditions, Dr. Fate comes and pays her a visit reassuring her that Justice Society will save them both. Just then, Adam also arrives at their home smashing a wall in the entrance. Hawkman follows bringing two inter gang soldiers with him as prisoners for questioning. Seeing the inter gang soldiers, Adriana rages striking at them with a clenched fist but Adam stops her. Adam drags them all the way up to the sky and questions them. After the two prisoners anxiously reveal Eamon's location to him, he drops them to the ground. This again angers Hawkman who quickly rushes to catch the falling prisoners. Their heated discussion leads to another brawl inside the house reaching from the living room all the way to Eamon's bedroom. In the middle of their clash, Adam finds his fist glowing in atonium after he punches through a wooden door. The two check and discover the crown of Sabak hidden right behind it. Which momentarily halts their brawl, they all gather inside the Justice Society's ship to secure the crown. When Hawkman suggests getting rid of the crown immediately, Adriana stops him. She insists that the crown is the only key to keeping Eamon safe. So she holds on to it and pressures Adam and Hawkman to work together until Eamon is safe. The ship then steers toward the inter-gang's hideout. 
In the middle of discussing their plan, Adam abruptly flies over to the inter gang's hideout where a number of troops attack him. The rest of the team follows finding Ishmael with Ayman protected by a pure attorney shield. Ishmael insists on training the crown for Ayman finally revealing his true identity and the true nature of the crown. He introduces himself as the leader of Inter Gang and the last living descendant of King Octun. During his reign, King Octun forged the crown of Sabak infused with the powers of the six demons of the ancient world in order to make himself invincible. Ishmael follows his ancestors' goal aiming to take the crown and claiming his rightful place as the King of Kondok. Adriana unwillingly gives the crown to Ishmael in hopes of saving her son. However, Ishmael betrays his part of the bargain. As soon as he gains possession of the crown, he aims his gun at Eamon and fires a bullet at him. This causes a commotion among them making Adam charge uncontrollably towards Eamon. His speed allows him to effectively shield Eamon from the bullet. Unable to contain his rage, Adam ends up destroying the hideout with his power. He wounds Eamon and kills Ishmael who has already worn the crown. Adam becomes mentally anguished due to his guilt and flees toward the ancient palace. Hawkman follows him catching sight of Adam staring at the statue. Adam reveals to him that the legend surrounding Kondok champion has been wrongly credited. It was Adam's son Hurit who was granted powers by the wizards and designated as the champion. Aware of Hurit's invincibility, King Octun ordered a number of assassins to slaughter his family. Hurit gave his power to Adam to save his life just before he got killed by the assassins. Filled with rage towards Octun, Adam rushed to the ancient palace, he avenged the death of his family and came close to destroying the entire city of Kondok. However, his actions angered the Council of Wizards. They imprisoned him along with the Crown of Sabak inside a mountain which later became his tomb. Adam deems himself unworthy of becoming a true hero and he decides to surrender to the Justice Society. They take him to a secret underwater location by Task Force X where they conceal him from the rest of the world. While the Justice Society brings Eamon, Adriana and Kareem back to the city of Kondok, Dr. Fate gains premonitions of Hackman's forthcoming death. Adriana and Cyclone also learn about the real message engraved on the crown which states that death is the only path to life. They realize that Ishmael has intentionally enraged Adam to kill him while he is wearing the crown. His death gives him access to hell where he is reborn as the champion of the six demons of Sabak. At this time, Ishmael emerges from the underworld to claim his throne along with its powers. The ship detects him who shows up transformed as the demon Sabak. They continuously shoot at him and in return, he unleashes a fire to burn the ship. Hawkman maneuvers the ship away but Sabak takes hold of their ship and tosses them. They land roughly as the ship crashes on the streets of Kondok. The team separates through the crash but they counter Sabak's attacks. Hawkman Cyclone and Adam Smasher take turns in the onslaught as their battle against Sabak commences. Meanwhile, Dr. Fate fills the entire ancient palace with a barrier to prevent the three of them from entering. In order to prevent his premonition from taking place, Dr. Fate ultimately decides to keep Hawkman from entering the ancient palace. He bids his goodbye to his fellows as he takes on Sabak alone. Hawkman tries to enter but to no avail, Dr. Fate arrives just in time before Sabak nears the throne. He fights him to the best of his ability while calling for Adam using his astral projection. He holds Sabak on the ground to stop him from approaching the throne. During the interval, he communicates with Adam motivating him to defeat the demon champion and become a true savior of Kondok. Adam senses his presence and wants to escape his cell. He struggles fighting against the soldiers of Task Force X but he doesn't give up. Two battles simultaneously ensue as Adam fights to run off from the Task Force X while Dr. Fate continuously distracts the demon Sabak. After a while, Sabak is a few steps away from the throne. Dr. Fate holds him away but he is hit by a formidable attack. He then exhausts himself causing the force field around the ancient palace to disperse. Hawkman, Cyclone and Atom Smasher are now able to enter where they catch sight of Dr. Fate worn out in action. Sabak runs to Dr. Fate and pulverizes him before sitting on his throne. Sabak's triumph permits him to summon the legions of hell which fills the whole city with terror. Adriana, Eamon and Kareem who are separated from the others come across a massive number of demon skeletons. Together, the three fight to contain them. Eamon calls out to the rest of the Kondok citizens urging them to fight together for the save of their city. Back in the ancient palace, the battle continues between the Justice Society and Sabak. Hawkman, Cyclone and Atom Smasher fire a joint attack but remain inferior against the demon. As Sabak is about to kill the rest of the Justice Society, Adam arrives just in time with his regained powers. The two current champions engage in a final battle to decide the fate of Kondok. Meanwhile, the people of Kondok establish their morale with the help of Eamon's encouragement. 
they each swing their tools toward the skeletal demons with a strong refusal to be terrorized. Inside the palace, the demon Savak demoralizes Adam telling him that he is not a hero and that the wizard's powers are wasted on him. Adam nonchalantly accepts and collaborates a counterattack with Hawkman. Hawkman utilizes the power in Dr. Fate's helmet to trap Sabak on his throne. As Adam ultimately delivers his finishing blow, he forcefully splits Sabak in half and ends him together with the legions of hell. The people of Kondok widely cheer for their victory and liberation. Hawkman expresses his relief to Adam for his time arrival bringing the both of them to good terms. They bid their last goodbye to Dr. Fate who has bravely sacrificed himself throughout the battle. Before the Justice Society leaves Kondok City peacefully, Adriana, Eamon, and Kareem make an appearance at the ancient palace. Adriana encourages Adam to lead Kondok as the raucous applause for Adam continues. He initially sits on the throne to try to calm himself, but then decides to demolish it. At the film's conclusion, Adam agrees to take on the role of Kondok's defender. As he adopts with a fresh name Black Adam, he seeks to grant his home the freedom it justly demands. So, that's it. Be sure to comment with your thoughts below, if the video feels good, then like this video. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified of our latest videos. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.